morning YouTube I hope everyone's having a great day I just want to make a short video uh, about trip pack if your company uses one and how to fill one out it's really easy my company pays me every single uh, every single tr uh, trip so whenever I send one of these in and they receive it they pay me so it's not like once a week type thing which is I like it I like it that way so it's it's I'll do this as quickly as possible it's a real short video uh, basically what you're gonna do here at work from the top is one of one sometimes you're gonna have bills it's never happened to me but sometimes you're gonna have so much paperwork you can't fit it all in this one envelope so you might have to use two envelopes, then you would do one of two and two of two. You know what I'm saying? If you need to use two envelopes for the same trip. Uh, this right here is going to be your load number. That's going to come from your, uh, your company. So I just you put your load number in right there. This is your truck number, your tractor number. Your trailer number that you used for that run right there. Next, you're going to have your begin date when you picked up. So, for example, the 20th. The end date when you finished, when you arrived, when you dropped the product off. Your first and last name is going to go here. And your begin. This is a, a, a little confusing, but begin place and end place so your begin place is not where you picked up your begin place is where you last left or excuse me where your previous delivery was from so that way you get paid for the empty miles that you ran to the next pickup I'll, I'll explain that here in just a second so begin place I have Phoenix Arizona end place I have Denver Colorado so that's pretty much it for the top section here if I rotate it up here you're gonna put uh, trip expenses so if you had any trailer washouts or anything that you had to pay out of your pocket that's where you're gonna put up here in this uh, in this section right here to be reimbursed so for example you just put the put the date put the description of what it was for example trailer washout or or toll you have to get a PO number from your from your dispatcher so just uh, send the macro in and request the PO for this amount and what it was for they'll send you a PO number you write that down in, in this column right there next is the amount so for example $50 for the washout or toll $15 whatever it was that's it. If you have more, just keep listing them down. Next section, you have your... Uh, oh, almost missed that one. Next section, you have your... Uh, um, it's not really trip expenses, but this is what the company owes you for extra pay. So, for example, if you have holiday pay or detention or layover pay, uh, anything like that, that's going to go in this box right here. So it's the same thing again. You put the put the date, the, dis the description of what it is. For example, detention, or maybe it's holiday pay, or maybe it's layover, or breakdown, or whatever. Th th those things would go right there. Uh, again, they're going to give you a PO for it. So request a PO and the amount that they owe you, thirty bucks or whatever it is. And then next here we have your trip routing. So this is where uh, I'm going to refer back to the begin and end place. So you notice I, you know, your begin place was Phoenix, Arizona. So let's say the, the load before this dropped off in Phoenix, Arizona. So that's where I'm leaving from. I'm leaving from Phoenix, Arizona and I'm, and I'm going to Denver, Colorado. But I'm picking up in Flagstaff, Arizona. So for, so the, the customer that I'm picking up for this envelope here is in Flagstaff, Arizona. 
but the previous load that I just dropped off was in Phoenix, Arizona. So I need to be sure to put Phoenix here and, and not Flagstaff so that they pay me empty miles from Phoenix to Flagstaff. I, ho I hope that makes sense. The way I look at it is wherever I, whatever city I empty at, that's my begin place. My pickup is gonna go here, which is usually in a different city. So those, the begin place and the pickup are usually two different places. So you have P for pickup, Flagstaff, and then the state, Arizona. D is for deliver, Denver, Colorado. And if you have multiple stops, you would just keep listing them here. So example, uh, you know, P, Flagstaff, Arizona, and then deliver, Denver. And then let's say you had another drop off, D, Salt Lake City, Utah. You would just keep listing them, you know, keep listing them down as you go so you get paid for your multiple stops. And then one of the very last sections here is uh, load information. They want the dispatch number, which is the exact same number as the one you wrote up here, underneath the one and one. That's the load number right there. The commodity, what, what, what product, what type of product was this? Was this produce, was this, you know, so for example, candy. Uh, our bills in the envelope you mark yes because you, you know majority of the time you're gonna put the bills you're gonna you know seal it like an envelope and drop it off however there are in cases where you will like meet another driver and you'll turn the bills over to the uh, to the driver so obviously you won't have bills to turn in because you're gonna give them to him to take to the customer so in that case you would mark no bills are not in the trip pack here and right down here it says if no where are the bills you would just write you know uh, turn which means you gave you know you, you you relayed it to another driver or paperwork in trailer or what you know whatever uh, you, you put right there where the where the paperwork is that bottom section right there is not used for anything that's at least we don't use use it for anything and that's it all you do is basically flip it around put your bills in there put all your receipts put all your trailer washouts or toll receipts or anything like that in there so you can prove that's what you paid for and uh, you can you can check those little boxes if you want Bills are signed, logs are up to date, POs, whatever. Just a little checklist so that you. And uh, that's it. Seal it, close it, lick it, and you can either do two things. You can either uh, just hand deliver this to your uh, terminal, or at every single truck stop there's a yellow box that says trip pack on it and it's usually outside the, the front the front door of the driver's entrance and uh, all you do is just it's all it's it's pre-stamped and stuff so you don't need to you don't need to do anything just pop it in the yellow box it says trip pack and I would say it takes about two days three at the very most for the uh, for the company to to receive the trip pack, they notify your employer that they've received it and and, in, and they've got the information and whatnot, and then they pay they you know depending on how your, how your company is, uh, they pay you. So I don't I don't know if your company might wait till Fridays to pay you or whatever, but my my company, which is Pride Transport. good company good company uh, they will uh, 
they will hook they will hook you up so that's it any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll I'll help you out if you uh, if I didn't explain anything correctly or uh, or confused you but uh, I hope you guys have a great day I'm on my way to Salt Lake City it's a beautiful day here I'm uh, I'm about maybe 60 or 70 miles outside of uh, Las Vegas I've got about 320 miles to go to to Salt Lake City that's where my drop-off is picking and then they've got they've already got me pre-planned I'm picking right back up uh, at the terminal the trailer is already there waiting for me and I'm going to Wisconsin so that's a good little 14 little 1400 mile trip so uh, all right man sounds good I'll talk to you guys later I hope the video was helpful peace have a good day